mashed potatoes and parsnips with garlic. It's a combination of potatoes and parsnips. I cut the parsnips smaller than the potatoes so they have the same cook time. And I add crushed garlic. This is four large russet, which would feed six people, and two parsnips. The potatoes, the garlic, and the parsnips, I'm gonna put into a food mill. You can mash them by hand if you want it a little coarser and not too precious. So into the pot we go. And then we start adding as much as we need of our melted butter and hot milk. And we stir. So now we have garlic, parsnip, salted water for the potatoes, of course. So now we're gonna add a little nutmeg. Always make these potatoes so special. A little hint of nutmeg and a little white pepper. Now, here's the really cool part. You want to keep these perfect literally all day or for several hours. You just need a pan that's slightly larger than the pot you're gonna hold the potatoes in and you make a bain marie. You make basically a hot tub and you leave it over the lowest of low heats, put a lid on it, I left the lid in the other room, I'll go grab it. Put a lid on it and this will sit for hours and be absolutely perfect, I promise. If you're doing the green beans, all I did for that is saute very gently some shallots in butter and then you can add water or stock and get them nice and saucy. All I did to the green beans was buy already trimmed beans, take a little help from the store, and I blanched them in boiling water. A couple of packages of trimmed green beans into two large shallots with butter and a little stock. So that's done. For the relish for this dish, I have one package of cranberries. right here, 10 ounces, 10 to 12, depending on the brand. I added a little bit of thyme, which isn't in the original recipe, but I had it sitting on the counter, so I just threw it in there, and a pinch of salt. To that, I'm gonna add a quarter cup each of white and light brown or dark brown sugar. I'm gonna add about a cup of cider, fresh pressed cider instead of water making cran apple sauce for this dish. And I'm gonna add an opal apple. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil, let it cook down, turn it off, and this is done. Here's our cranberry applesauce. Here's our mashed potatoes and parsnips with garlic. And now our green beans that everybody loves because they're not about the green beans, they're about the mountain of butter and shallots. 